Hello internet friends, this is a follow-up video to my 101 on reverse engineering, let's call it 102. In that first video I focused on creating level 35 power bits primarily and we created a 35 skill attachment with three stats, luck, agility and constitution. In this video I want to talk about creating an exotic attachment. I touched on that only briefly before. So if you haven't watched that first video then please do so before watching this one since we'll be picking up at the point where we've created our power bits and you won't know how to do that unless you have watched that first vid. I'm also going to talk about creating different types of attachments as different professions and cover some additional quirks and edge cases of the reverse engineering system. So we've got our three power bits and we are ready to create an exotic attachment. Unlike the attachment we created previously, this will only be usable by the player on a clothing shirt. Remember, I'm a domestics trader, so shirts are the thing that exotics go on for me. The process is much the same, but instead of the base stats of precision, strength, luck, stamina, con, and agility, we'll be sourcing exotic stats. To keep things simple, all three stats are to do with heavy weapons in this case, so we'll be using heavy weapon damage, heavy weapon action reduction and heavy weapon critical chance. Something I didn't show last time was using the Junkyard website to figure out what junk loop we need to create these modifiers. So I'm gonna show you how to do that, let's do that. So here is the Junkyard website, a boon for any budding reverse engineer. The important category here is the Junkyard option. You can also do Chugondar combinations, that's complicated as well, but let's stick for this. So we can search by a number of factors. We can search by the loot item that we want. Uh, you can type it into the search field there or click on uh, the item itself. A broken pressure pump, we know that there are 10 combinations known, 180 unknown. So if we were to click on that and then come down here, known combinations 10, we can see that creating a broken pressure pump with a disabling homing beacon would create a stamina modifier. There are also other options you can search by modifier bits, for instance. Uh, you can click on the modifier bit you want and see the known combinations for that. There are 13 combinations that will create a one-handed critical chance and here are all the combinations here. You can also go to the master combination list which I've got up here and uh, go through and search absolutely everything. As you can see there are an awful lot. To find the modifier bits that I want this time I'm just going to do heavy weapons. Uh, because I know I want everything that is to do with heavy weapons. There are the three heavy weapons of, uh, of choice in this case. Let's click on one. Heavy weapon action cost, known combinations. Here are all the combinations for heavy weapon action costs. So I go out and search for this particular junk loot and same for the other two heavy weapon categories there, the damage and the critical chance. Once you've sourced the junk loot, either by grinding for it or buying it from the bazaar, we're gonna add the modifier bits that we create with the junk loot. I'm just creating the third order power bit here. I thought I was ready to go for the tutorial, but it gets confusing reverse engineering, even when you think you know what you're doing. So uh, we create the third order power bit with the three statted trousers there. Now I'm ready to create the exotic. I've got the modifier bits, so I've combined the loot into the modifier bits and we're gonna add those to the power bits exactly as we did in the previous video. Bear in mind that the stat you apply first is what the attachment will be called. So you may want to consider this. If you know a certain stat is in more demand than others, then add that first since it makes it easier when people are searching for it on the bazaar. Unfortunately, there's no way to rename or add any other descriptors during this process like there is with other crafting items and whatnot. Keep in mind the modifier bits power conversion ratio. You won't be getting heavy weapon damage plus 35 since the heavy weapon damage modifier bits conversion ratio is 14. 35 divided by 14 is 2. Is that the max you can hope for? Yes. Whatever the power conversion ratio of a modifier bit, so long as you use a level 35 power bit, you will always get the maximum possible for that particular modifier. So I said before that this attachment will only be usable on a shirt since I'm a domestics trader. What if I wanted to create an attachment with these same stats to go on a breastplate instead? Well, at this point I would give the maxed out power bits and the modifier bits to a munitions trader. 
He would then do the final assembly and instead of a shirt attachment, a breastplate attachment would be produced because of his profession. Same thing if I wanted these stats on a weapon, give the items to a munitions trader at the final stage. He does the final assembly and we get a weapon attachment with these stats. So I'm doing shirts and other clothing items. If you're munitions, you're doing armor and breastplate, but you're creating the power bits and the modifier bits in exactly the same way and the professions you need to step in at the final stage if you want to change the class of the attachment will be the other two classes basically. Additionally I want to touch on some outliers although it is generally the case that only base character stats can be added to clothing or armor the exceptions that prove the rule are the block value and camouflage modifiers so long as you add these as the final stat on an attachment they will then be usable on any piece of clothing or armor with the socket available. They must be the last stat added however otherwise the attachment will count as as an exotic and only be applicable to shirt, breastplate and weapon again, even if the remaining stats are all base stats. If in doubt, remember that the first stat added usually determines what type of item you're creating. If you put an exotic stat first, it's an exotic, although you can still add base stats to that if you wish but it will still only be usable on breastplate, shirt and weapon. Base stat first, it will be usable on anything as long as you don't add an exotic stat. That stat will invalidate it for general armor or clothing with the exception of camo and block value as I've previously mentioned. Finally, I'd like to highlight the fact that how you work as a reverse engineer is entirely up to you. You may be thinking gathering all that junk loot sounds like a pain, you hate grinding and or have no character slots free to set one up macroing and killing things for junk loot well you don't have to do the gathering if you don't want you can buy the modify bits from the bazaar similarly you might not like the idea of producing all the power bits in that case you could focus on creating power-ups which require far fewer or you could even buy the power bits although the profit margin is slim there you might even decide you just want to create modify bits and not worry about power levels or creating attachments you can become an expert in the various junk loot combinations and sell those. In that case, you don't need a reverse engineering suit at all uh, or any buffs since reverse engineering level and look don't factor in when you're creating the modifier bits. All these options are viable. I've shown you everything from beginning to end so you're aware of all the options. But you can totally choose how deeply you dive into reverse engineering for yourself. I hope you've enjoyed this duo of tutorials on reverse engineering. This has been something I've put off doing for a long time since the topic is complex and I felt like I could only do it justice after I'd spent a significant amount of time as a reverse engineer myself. I hope you found the videos useful and if you did, please help me by sharing the guides among your friends and any Star Wars Galaxies community where you feel they might be appreciated. Thank you very much for your support and I will see you next time.